Morning. Morning. Breakfast time. Breakfast time in the buffet. Most mm. unusual for us, but what a pleasant experience. Very good, isn't it? You just come up and they find a table for you. And go off. And they serve your food for you at the buffet station. You come back, eat it. They bring you tea and coffee to you. It's a really good experience. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you. So it's good morning for our second day in Rotterdam. And we're off on a tour today. She's making a work, I think. Not quite sure. We booked it a long time ago now. So we got up early this morning. Didn't take a risk of going to the main dining room because after yesterday's experience that wouldn't have maybe made our tour on time so we went to the buffet and it was great um i know it was early so perhaps we saw it at its best but it was really good nice fresh pot of tea the staff were lovely staff everywhere helping you carry things and it was just a really good experience for a buffet i think i like buffets on fred olsen morning lindsay morning it's all a bit early for me Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, um, dinner last night was quite good. We didn't think it was going to be, um, but actually the dinner that we had wasn't the same one as it was publicised on the outside of the, the um, uh, restaurant. Um, so it was quite good, quite enjoyed that. Um, service was good again, a um, bit slow on the wine, but um, that didn't really make much difference. Um, we played a bit of shuffleboard. I was beating you until you decided that, oh, we're even now. You can give up. We were even. Well, yeah. I went in the it lead. It took you about half an hour to get up to me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Kept going until you did get it. Didn't help me. I had interference with play as well, yeah, didn't we? Interfered. Yeah, yeah. There was, a, there was a child that just walked past and pushed the pucks everywhere. But mm. there you go. Um, what then we did? Do? Oh, we went and saw the magician. Well, well, he wasn't really not, a magician, no, a magician, was he? He he does deception work, yeah. and he was very good at deceiving people. <laughs> yeah, he was entertaining as well. He oh, he's not the best magician I've seen, but he was very I don't think entertaining. He to be. No, no, he's very entertaining. Yeah, yeah, he was very entertaining and not funny. What he was doing was quite clever. It was a different slant on things. And then we went to the quiz and. Won that as well. Again. Thanks to. Oh, thanks to well, the other people on the table. Sandra and Gil. Yeah, it was yeah. just, it wasn't anything to do with me, that's for sure. You were very quiet, actually. Yeah. It's because I didn't know the answers. <laughs> so our meet time this morning is quite early, isn't it? We yeah. got meet at 20 to 9 in the Neptune Theatre yeah. for our 9 o'clock tour. I don't know why we booked it. It's a bit early, isn't it? It is a bit. But... I think it'd be quite interesting. I just hope it didn't rain too much today. Yeah. So we're on the bus now. And where are we going, Lynn? Um, you haven't got a clue, have you? No, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> we're going to some cheese. Cheese, cheese some space cheese. and gouda. That's fine. For a visit. And waffles as well. Oh, that'd be fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Take you with us. Yes. And so we set off to the dairy farm where we'd find out all about how to make cheese. When we arrived at the farmhouse, each table had a pail of warm milk and to this we had to add 25 drops of rennet to start the process. After starting our own cheese making process off, we had a tour around the remainder of the farm to see the commercial side of the operation. Annette, it's filled, hey? we are taking the curds out of it, the net is going into this one, you can see the holes, mm -hmm. the liquid can go out, and then we put a lid on it, 
In the lid there are holes too. And there is a net too. Here. The net in there. And then we can press it. You can After the curds are cut and put into the moulds, they are pressed with a heavy weight to get rid of most of the moisture. On this machine that's right in front of us, after most of the moisture has been removed, they're then put in salted water to soak. Depending on the size of the cheese determines how long they're left to soak. And these cheeses are four days in the salt water. Yeah. Yeah. The bigger the cheese, the longer it yeah. needs to be there because of it needs more salt. Now, and then, when the cheeses are dried, this is a sponge. Eh? Yeah. You can uh, put your windows with it, but eh, do your windows, but we can, we can do some plastic on the cheeses. And why do we do that? It's not for holding, for aging better. It's only for having a good look and for cleaning easy. When the cheese is shiny, only with a dry cloth you can clean it. And when the cheese is like this, it's molding in a week. And now back to our little effort. As you can see here, Lindsay and I are cutting up the curds to make them into small pieces. After the curds are cut up, then the majority of the liquid is drained off. And after that, hot water is added to the mix to separate and set the curds properly. After the curds have set and separated properly, they are then strained through a muslin cloth to remove the rest of the water. And this is what you're left with, ready to be put in a mould and pressed. Oh, okay. It was really interesting to find out all about the cheese making process, but soon it was time to hop on the bus and head back to the city of Gouda. The beautiful medieval city of Gouda has a glorious past. You'll find its streets lined with beautiful facades, canals and courtyards. And of course, one of the most iconic cheese markets in the world. We found it a truly charming little place to visit. So we decided today to come up into afternoon tea in the buffet, it's all included. And we got some Assam tea, and I'll just show you what Lindsay's got. You got Lindsay? I've got scone, and yeah. cream, yeah. and jam, and a piece of Madeira cake. Oh, and what have you already had? I've already had a, um, a beef and um, onion marmalade sandwich. Mm, well, nice as well, wasn't it? It was very nice. Yeah, yeah. good. Put the butter on these scones. Yeah, and I'll put the jam on and then the cream, clotted cream. A little bit of scone, a little bit of jam, and lots of cream and butter. You got something to say, Lindsay? This. It's just so wrong. It's the way to do your scone. That's wrong. That's not wrong. You've got much cream on there. I've got half of my pot. Really? And it's proper cream. Yeah, doesn't look like nice. it. It's nice, nice, is it? Good. Yeah. So we've just come out of afternoon tea 
in the view of the buffet. The buffet. And we thought we'd just film in front of the pineapple. Come over this way, dear. It's got a pineapple. It's the right way up. It is the right way up. Just those that are doubting. Yes. But yeah. So what was what was it like? It was very good. It was the quality of the food was very nice. And mm. um, you had service coming around with pots of tea. Yep. We asked if they had any Assam, and we got Assam tea, yeah, which is very nice. Um, uh, it's very popular. Huge number of people going in there. It. Absolutely packed, but still okay. civilized. Yeah. Which doesn't make much sense really, but no. um, it was still civilised. No and fighting in the bucket, no, no elbows. No, out, were and, there, very and the civilized. waiters were going around clearing tables and yeah. helping with tea and helping if you wanted anything carried. carried no, yeah. Really good. Really good. Oh, and most important of all, well, most of it was being served. Yeah, most of it was mm. being served. No help yourself at the buffet or very little. Just cakes, wasn't it really? Yeah. Everything else was served to you, which is great for controls and things like that and it's just nice to be served we're on holiday for goodness sake mm -hmm. why do you want to help yourself yeah. the captain had informed us that due to inclement weather we were going to have to leave rotterdam slightly earlier than planned to avoid a storm we decided to pop out onto the forecastle to take a final look at rotterdam and enjoy the sail away So I hope you can hear. And they got three rib boats up here. Coming out. Spinning round. There's the front of the ship up there. See so right up to the bridge. And Lindsay's out here. It's a bit clunky clinky, isn't it, Lindsay? Yeah. This is very odd. It is, isn't it? Backwards. Yeah. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's really underneath us somewhere. Yeah, it is. Quite yeah. And so we set sail from Rotterdam, past the Rotterdam, and not long after we passed it, this happened. It suddenly got so rough and wet out there now, that it's almost like a mist or fog down across. You can hardly see what's going on. It's really quite a strange sight as we leave Rotterdam. So tonight we're off to Speciality Dining at 7, Two Colours and Tastes for our first time ever. So it'll be a new experience for us. And we've got our glad rags on, all dressed up. Not posh, but smart. And we'll see you there. But first, we're going for a drink in the Ocean Bar. This is your... Yeah. Large Hendrix. With Fever Tree. Fever Tree Light. For £6.25. That's not bad, is it? It's not bad, is and it? And it's got a huge slice of cucumber, cucumber in it. And lots of ice. So let's give it a whiz and see what it's like. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and Lindsay, for her first drink of the day, has gone for a cocktail of the day. Oh. Looks pretty. <laughs> nice. Fruity, well, it's refreshing. Just, it's just orange juice. Isn't it? Orange juice. Let's do lots of <laughs> drink it as well. <laughs> you devil, you. Colors and Tastes is one of Fred Olson's speciality dining venues. It offers Asian fusion cuisine with signature dishes from Japan, Thailand, China, and the Philippines. In terms of speciality dining, it's very reasonably priced. If you book before you get on board, it only costs £10 per person. On this occasion, we were seated in a secluded booth, side by side, which led to this rather interesting photograph. Here's a quick look at our menu for you to salivate over before we make our choices. Fruit 
so we're in Cars and Tace. And what do you all do? Um, vegetables from the road. Yes. And then I'm having um, uh, ch ch chili, chili beef. Chili something. crispy chili beef. Crispy yeah. chili beef, is it? And then we've got all the bits, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. And you're having... Well, so I'm having... Um, a port seasick, whatever that is, um, and then I'm having the Massaman lamb curry for, yeah, for me. So we'll see what happens. Mm. Certainly the bread's nice, I just had the bread with a hot dog in the middle of it. Mm, very nice. So tonight, we got some white wine, the house white, because it was suggested. It's it was right, isn't it, Lynn? Yeah, it was recommended by the waitress as being nice and white to go with our to meal. To go with our meal. Mm. It's good it's flowering. It's probably right. It's easy to drink. Mm. I think as long as it stays cold, it'll be fine. We'll have to drink it quickly. <laughs> good excuse. Hi, this is my pork seasick. And it looks, it smells really nice. It looks like I've got pork crackling and all sorts on there. And Lindsay's gone for something boring, but will taste extremely nice. She's just gone for a vegetable spring roll. Oh, sweet chilli sauce. Sweet chilli sauce, which I love as well. Go away. Sorts of verdict on your spring rolls. Very nice. It was nice to be able to use the um, sauces that we got for the starters, or free starters. Yeah. Um, to be able to use those on there as well, it gave a bit of a different element to it. Um, but yeah. Good idea. Ah, very good, very nice. Um, a bit bland tasting. The crackling was nice, but it was just crackling. Um, and then, um, yeah, it was alright, but I put some hoisin sauce on it and it lifted it much nicer. Mm, very good. Mm. Mm. You can try a little bit. Let's see what it's like. Just have a quick taste. At least you're not asking me to do it. Oh, yeah. Chopsticks. No. Just have a quick taste. Very sweet. Nice. Good. And this is my Massa Man lamb curry. It's quite a nice flavour, but very gentle flavour. Mm. Mm, very gentle. You want to try some? No. So, I've finished my main course, and there's a plate up down there. Oh, yeah, completely empty. So, it was very nice. It, it was a bit blander flavour than I anticipated. But um, it's quite nice and not a huge portion, although I understand Lindsay's struggling with hers because um, it's quite rich. But we'll find out in a minute when she's finished. So, Lindsay, main course, verdict? I enjoyed mine. Yep. Um, I did get through it. Yeah, you did. I'm surprised. Um, it was very uh, uh, rich. So I was struggling towards the end, but it was very tasty at the same time. Good. And you ate all your rice as well. Yeah. The only thing you left was your chilies. Yeah, I need to. I, I, I had some, but not. Um. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. And again, I put the hoisin sauce on, and the lamb was beautifully tender, and it was just a bit bland. But by putting the other sauces on, it came out really quite nice at the end. Is she down there? Yeah, the wine's going down all right, isn't it? So, we're now waiting for our puddings, aren't we, dear? Yeah. And I've got um, banana fritters, and Lindsay's got... Milford. With... Isn't it passion fruit curd? Yeah, and raspberry sorbet. Mm. So we'll wait and see what it's like. Quite looking forward to it, though. Still got room for it. Only just. Yeah. So that just about sums it up for the food in colours and tastes. After we've finished the current vlog series, we will be doing a full review of all the food that we tried on Fred Olsen Cruises. So look out for that one. And after enjoying a good meal, what do we like to do? Yes, so let's head along to the theatre and find out what the show's like. Tonight's show was entitled The Magical Mystery Tour and had been postponed from the first night for some major technical reasons and we were really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, we were disappointed. 
I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever.